So why did it happen? Why did Robbins police open fire on a man who was doing his job, protecting the public as a security officer? Tonight, friends say he died trying to stop a gunfight when he was gunned down. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at the victim's former high school with more now on how he's being remembered and the latest on his investigation into his death. Lauren. Good evening, Rob. Well, condolences continue to pour in on social media, including a tweet tonight from the Lane Tech High School basketball team. They've identified the victim as a 2010 alum and a player with a big smile and an even bigger heart. This is a case that is starting to gain international media attention. Justice for Jamil! Justice for Jamil! It's a rallying cry only growing stronger. We just come to you, Lord, praying. Friends of Jamel Roberson in front of his Chicago home. There's no way to justify nothing for him. And outside the bar he worked are fighting through pain and for answers. What's your main question tonight? My main question is why did you shoot him and he had on a security vest? Midlothian police still haven't said what prompted their officer to fire his weapon at Roberson early Sunday morning. The 26 year old aspiring police officer was working security at Manny's Luxury Lounge in Robbins when a drunken fight led to gunshots inside the bar. Witnesses say Roberson sprang into action holding the gunman down, but an officer responding to a call for backup shot Roberson. The the officer that shot him, we still don't know his name. They're trying to, they're trying to keep that from us. So release his name, please. That's what I want y'all to do. Release his name and he needs to have consequences. All we know is that man has seven years experience as a police officer and currently works for Bidlothian's patrol division. He also serves as a leader on the regional SWAT team. The police officer used excessive and unreasonable force. Lawyer Greg Coolis already filed a lawsuit against the village of Midlothian on behalf of the Roberson family. Why file this lawsuit now when there's still so many details unknown? Well, there's well, a couple of reasons. One, you get subpoena power and two, um, it brings out witnesses. Meantime, the mayor of Robbins ordered Manny the bar shuttered until further notice for a review and full examination. A man speaking on behalf of Manny's tells me tonight he had no comment because of, quote, pending legal issues. I'm Lauren Victory reporting live, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Lauren, thank you.